<laughs> I'm digging the hat, man. It's cool. That's just to keep my COVID hair. I look a little bit more. Uh, where's the fucking camera? Yeah, look, okay, look. yeah this just has got. I'm gonna haircut in ages. So yeah, it's got a little. Stupid. I feel your pain, man. I ended up shaving my head like a oh, couple of months ago. <laughs> oh, I quite like long hair though. It's not something I've ever done really. It's yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah. Kind of suited me. Oh, where's, the, where's the camera? There it is. You walked the mohawk for the way away. I am, I am usually a yeah, mohawk man, but. Yeah. Not, not, no, look at that. Look how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> Looks awesome, man. Well, thank you very much. So, nice how's things? Nice. Have I'm you been? Really, I'm actually, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really happy at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Now? How is uh, the pandemic been treating you and stuff? Who's who's treating me what? Mm -hmm. How's the pandemic been treating you? Like, what have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't get me. it didn't get me. Didn't get me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Even my bird had it, and I still didn't get it. You know. Really? Yeah. You must have a good immune system, man. I've got a brat. I must have because I, yeah. I was I was staying with her in the same room and. We were, I was looking after her. Mm -hmm. I didn't get nothing, absolutely nothing. But you know, uh, it just it looked like a cold, to be honest. But um, hey, yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> so I've just uh, I've just uh, finished watching the first episode of the Green Fingers. Oh man, we we're redoing that one. Really? really? Yeah, because that one basically look, it's a pilot, man. You know, it was like an old. Yeah. It was a pilot. We first started doing a, a sitcom. Uh, just what beginning the first episode, and it came out like that. Um, and then, but we decided to do more for some reason. But the others have been really like the standard has got so much better. I'm I'm the editor now. We've got a new team, very cool. And, and each one's just got better and better. Um, yeah, and I've I've become the editor because I I took over the editing because I said, come on, man, give me that, give me that, give me that edit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, shut up do me. you do you have a background <laughs> in like editing Sexual and film and TV and stuff? <laughs> what? Do you have a background in like uh, film editing and stuff? Oh yeah. Obviously, one, you've got a background one, in TV, no, but I'm I'm good at editing. Yeah, I've just been yeah. doing it for years. You know what I mean? But um, I just like making silly films, silly silly videos, whatever. But um, I ended up taking over, and because each one's getting so good, I said mad we need to reshoot number one and they actually agreed i said look I'll edit, I'll edit it let's reshoot it let's make it let's make it as good as the others so yeah i think it's tomorrow i'm going up north again to film uh episode one again in a different got different characters but same sort of storyline but much awesome. better and sharper and funnier you know yeah so check out keep watching man it gets better well better. definitely definitely and yeah. um, whereabouts did you film then well we, we do it in harrogate you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cool Harrogate, yeah, um, yeah, very very posh part part of town. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's a bit how did you, how did you end up getting involved with like Ross Lee and stuff? Oh, I love Ross Lee. Ross Lee, basically, I used to have the same agent as Ross Lee <coughs> uh, years ago, back back when I came out of Big Brother, and then uh, you know, I I just saw that this man had a lot of talent. You know, yeah. Um, lately, I, I, I just. I was seeing the stuff on his Instagram, um, and you know we weren't really friends. I'm just, I never really hung out with him, but as like, as I saw him stuff on his Instagram, I thought this guy's is funny, man. He's got a lot of talent. He's very charismatic, and he's great at acting and being, you know. And I thought, hey, man, this guy needs a chance, another chance, because you know he was quite a f up there. He was doing loads of TV shows, kids' TV shows. He had his own show called The Pranker, and you know, goodies. But then he kind of disappeared for a bit, and and I just thought, oh man. I want, I want this geezer to actually come back, you know. So I I, I, yeah. I, I mentioned him to quite a few of my uh, director friends and um, I, I convinced Velton to give him a chance, Velton's the director of Green Things, to give him a chance uh, to have a part in Green Things. And he smashed it. Episode yeah. five is ridiculously funny. But the thing is, Amazon won't accept it yet. They keep on they keep on saying, giving giving it large portions about oh, they won't accept it because of some i don't know why though so we keep trying to get number five up and it's like they just keep on saying no computer says no you know right so <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's not it's really good but yeah um now yeah so now me and ross lee are friends and uh yeah That's cool, man. and he's off and he's off shooting a really good uh hollywood blockbuster at the moment so he's coming back you know Oh really? Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. Don't yeah, don't say a lot. I'm, I yeah. can't say what it is, but <laughs> yeah, he's coming back in a big way, and I'm 
yeah so that's good me next yeah. i think yeah definitely no, I'm saying that. Mm. i can see it happening <laughs> yeah well, so, thank you very much <laughs> what um are you, are you still like performing with daddy fantastic no um, wobbly bob died of cancer and um, old, old probably bob he was the uh, my best friend you know what i'm saying um uh, mm -hmm. uh and you know it, we, i did leave the band um before that happened but when he died the yeah, whole you know the whole band died as well so i'm not doing that but i am doing my own um my band the love dogs uh l-o l-o-v-e d-o-g-z because i love dogs <laughs> <laughs> but we call the love dogs because of this i was, was going to start a band before the pandemic mm -hmm. and then um yeah it stopped me doing the band so um gav Contrell and me um we've combined forces because all my songs that i wrote are you know we was gonna i was gonna rehearse band but he uh, uh decided to see he said pete let's do, i'll just record all your bits because he's got a studio so because he's because he's an amazing musician he's he's taken my songs and he's just played all the parts for me so i'm like oh well thanks very much we've got more recorded and we're going to uh <clears throat> take I'm, I'm taking to a studio soon down the road a few mates of mine and I'm, we're gonna get all the tracks in the thing i'm gonna sing all the vocals and we're gonna release all the, all the whole album the love dogs album the new one yeah that's so, awesome man. yeah that's just it's just been a lot so anyway lockdown's been good for being creative you know i've been editing, definitely like, yeah doing the music gav's been helping and uh yeah i've been yeah drawing getting my art together something drawing again and uh yeah so music art and uh editing and i'm filming i've been filming a few horror films as well you know so um Awesome. I just saw there's something in the shadows the other day. Uh, we went to Scotland, you know. Like, where, where, where are you all from, actually? <laughs> yeah. There you are. Um, yeah. up, up in Loch Ness. It was amazing. Did a, an amazing horror film in, in, in the woods up there. Uh, I just watched John Williams, the director, showed me the other day the first preview, and I was wicked. It's like you can just leave, leave the camera rolling in Glasgow, and it'd yeah, be a pretty good horror film. Rolling and um, <laughs> we were hunted down by it. We well, can't say. But there's something in the shadows. Check that film out. Um, it's going to be on Amazon soon. Um, cool. Yeah, that's a good little. It's a, it's a found footage camp thing. You know, like like you know, like like, like Blair Witch in it. You know what I'm saying? Really um, cool. Man. Yeah. That's so awesome. I've got my films. I've got my sitcoms. I've got my music coming out. And um, uh, I'm just getting back into my art. And uh, oh, I'm, doing, I'm doing a podcast as well with my mate Stephen B called The Pilchard Factory. <laughs> right. Cool, man. The Pilchard Factory. When does that come out? No, it's on SoundCloud uh it's soundcloud forward slash the pilchard factory and that's already there we, i've been doing podcasts as well so you know keep myself creative awesome man yes but i'm that's good my i need a haircut that's the only problem i need it <laughs> i need a haircut man <laughs> when did the barbers open Are they open now i don't know um they're not open and i don't know when they're going to be open. but you know yeah God, i'm just gonna have to deal with it you know look like i think they opened bristol. yesterday in scotland like i come from bristol for a bit have a caravan <laughs> You know what I mean? So, do you plan on touring with the band? Like yes, once, we are going to plan once on it opens up. When, when, when everything opens up, when, when, when festivals open up again, uh, and we're going to be touring. Yeah, get. I got, I got, you know, I got fingers in pies for people who want, who want me to play places. Um, you know, like the cobblestones, maybe in in where's that? Where's that? Bridgewater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> near bristol around bristol because i was I was living in bristol for a bit so i've got i've got a few little connections there now and i reckon and then like when the festivals start opening again yeah hopefully i'll uh start yeah get getting in that circuit as well you know yeah, yeah man yeah yeah but you know i'm just know if you're ever in scotland i would love to do it in scotland i love scotland. yeah we're coming, we're coming back again soon in scotland to scotland to do the other film next film cool yeah, yeah loads of scotland that's awesome and, I love Scotland. Isn't it pretty? Um, well, up, up the top, it is up nice, the top. man. Up the top, it's yeah. well nice, isn't it? Right? When the sun comes out, it can be pretty nice. It's kind oh yeah, um... it's nice when it's windy too. Um, as, uh, uh, but my friend Steve, he lent me a really nice big puffy jacket, and I was really warm. Thank God yeah. for that, because I would have frozen <laughs> bollocks off. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a bit hot on my stone where I am, and I'm in like just outside Glasgow. <laughs> So oh, uh, I know Glasgow, yeah. I've, I've been to Glasgow too because uh, I did Edinburgh Festival years ago, and we did like I did a comedy route uh, thing for about a month. So I was in I was in Gla Glasgow. Well, how would you say? It? Can I say it? I say Glasgow, but I suppose Glasgow, Glasgow. English should be I, I got Gla Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> Glasgow. I was in, I was in, <laughs> I was in Glasgow. I said, yeah. yeah, it's a very posh part of town. 
Yeah. Yeah. All, all the kids pushing prams with kids in. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. They're, they're, the kids are also the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. The kids are also the parents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So, is it? It is wild. <laughs> yeah, it's good there. I met Tom Green and Steve O up there. Uh, yeah. The comedy circuits. Yeah, that was good. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, it's good, show. good stuff. That's Might get good. back into that again one day. Never yeah. 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 You've got a similar kind of vibe to Steve-O. I got the same what? A similar kind of vibe, but a kind of... Well, he, he, he's funny. I met him twice as well. I met him in Scotland, and then when I was in Hollywood, um, so I, I, asked, got, I got asked to do a film there as well, but didn't work out because um, if she was a bit nuts, and I had to run away. But anyway, I met Steve-O again, <laughs> randomly, um, at the, <laughs> at the um, airport. He's like, hey, bro, want to take a picture? I was like... Well, I, actually, I was just saying hello. Hey, I met you in Scotland, but yeah, he made me take a picture of him. <laughs> He's a nice bloke. Like, yeah, come on, have a picture. I was like, I wasn't really going to get a picture, but yeah. he made me do it. Mm. That's awesome. Steve was doing stand up and stuff now. Yeah, I saw, I was there. I saw yeah. stand up. Tom Green yeah. was on. Then Steve O came on because he was with their, their ah, best mates. Lovely. He was like, hey, buddy, going to get uh, Steve O on. And he came on and told a story about him getting monoshed off by a prosy or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just like a tuesday yeah it's like we've done it mate come on breakfast in scotland <laughs> breakfast yeah. <laughs> have you had your breakfast today yet uh no i haven't actually all right well fed the kids <laughs> but I, I, I haven't had any yeah. oh shit man sorry if i was there i'd not show off man <laughs> 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 when you're touring in Scotland, we'll, we'll sort that out, right? What was that? My touring, I'm touring in Scotland. When you're touring in Scotland, like with your band, we'll, we'll sort that out. Oh, the notion yeah. off. I got, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're a groupie, though. I want, like, you at the front. <laughs> I'm really good at disguises. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you get a wig. You got a good wig. Got yeah. any, got, have you got a like, nice dress um, and stuff? Yeah, got a good dress. I could find one, man. I could find one. All right, send me some pictures because, you know, I'm fussy. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Want... Oh yeah, I don't want to just get you. Know, <laughs> Have you ever used um, the face app? Oh, uh, a face app. Face Why? app, because it like <laughs> it, there's a thing where it can swap your gender and make you look female. Oh yeah, I've done that, mate. Check out my Instagram. Uh, I've got two pictures of me as a bird. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Just get you going in the morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'll sort you out. <laughs> cool, man. I'll put, I'll put them up on the screen, right? No, put when them I'm, up on the screen. I'm editing this. I look fit, man. I mean, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I definitely should have been a woman. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll, think, I'll put them yeah, up when I'm editing it. Why not? I mean, at least this day and age is the done thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do look good in drag. I, I dressed up as, uh, what's his name, Frank the other day for um, my missus' uh, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was good, man. I look, <laughs> I look pretty fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> You've always worn it. The guy liner and, and stuff, eh? Makeup. What? I'm saying you've always worn like guy liner. Oh yeah, I have not today mm. though. But uh, yeah, I, I have done. Uh, but I used to wear women's clothes when I was a little kid because I was brought up by trannies. So you know, I thought, well, mm -hmm. why not? <laughs> it was a great idea. <laughs> good, idea. <laughs> good idea, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I was brought up in the gay, gay scene, and you know, so I, I started wearing women's clothing at a young age. So why not? <laughs> Makes you feel That's good, good you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like Eddie Izzard though, you know. I don't walk around. I met him. I walked, met him down the beach. Yeah. He had his high heels on and his thing on and his corset and his knickers and that. But yeah, yeah. But um, I'm, I'm, you know, I've gone that far. You know, I've gone that far. But yeah, yeah. it's kind of it's a more widely accepted thing now. Like, oh, I, I've, I've, I grew always, up. I've, I've always accepted it. I've always accepted it since I was a kid. I think everyone, yeah. everyone should just accept because acceptance is the answer. Yeah, my friend. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I used to think that. Um, like, I, I grew up listening to, like, Nirvana and kind of idolised yeah. Kurt Cobain. And I always thought that he was trying to be funny, like, when he was wearing, like, women's clothing and stuff. But oh, no, I think he just, he just felt comfortable. Yeah, like, he's, more com he's more comfortable um, dressed up as a bird. And I think now yeah. he's come out as um, a woman, hasn't he? I think I saw something recently. Eddie Izzard, Eddie Izzard says, oh, no, I sorry, I'm, I'm, meant... I'm now a lady or something. Kurt, Kurt Cobain I was, I was talking oh, about. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's came out as anything for a while, to be honest. <laughs> no, he's, he's, uh, he's definitely not out now. He's dead. But, yeah. um, 
<laughs> I'm sure he, he died happy. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he was wearing mm-hmm. wearing a bra at the same time, you know. It could have been. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, why not? I mean, <laughs> I hope he was. I hope he was wearing a bra when he when he killed himself. Um, Me too. Fucking why not? I eh? I mean, allegedly. I hope I, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> I love Nirvana. Yeah. I, I, we know he's great. When I'm when I get depressed, the only thing I listen to is Nirvana. You know, and and yeah, it gets me through. You know, I love yeah. I love Nirvana's kind of vibe. You know, and when he's I love how depressed he was in a way because I sometimes when I get down I'm like I'm on his level man and his music gets yeah. me through you know I love his his stuff it's amazing definitely yeah, man. Uh, yeah. so yeah good Nirvana sick love love, yeah. love Nirvana nice one Kirk mm. did you um do how did you get into music or did you start like oh, have my, you always my, been a singer or did you play no, guitar no, when you were younger my mum my mum was obviously in the gay scene uh, but she played in Cominard, soft cell and uh, all the kind of 80s gay bands and stuff like that um so and she's a, a classical musician so she was a musical genius she played with manic street preachers smashing pumpkins look at me name dropping massive attack all yeah. those big 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 deal 80s bands blah blah but then when when she met dave my stepdad when he was he was actually dressed in drag as well actually when they met and um uh you know um he was a sound engineer and um yeah he taught me how to make music on cubase because you know he just sat me down at eight years old he was there like teaching me how to use uh cubase which is like a musical making software thing and yeah i sat on the atari st and was making the tunes you know like uh, so I made loads of started making programming at eight years old. So yeah, since then I've just been doing it and doing it. So if you go to um, uh, SoundCloud.com forward slash Pete Bennett Music, right, you'll uh-huh. hear the ele- electronic techno stuff I make. Like very, I'm really into the Prodigy, you know. That's and, awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, so that kind of inspired me to make a lot of ele- electronic music. So um, yeah, since eight years old I've been doing it, and yeah, I- I've got really like yeah, really into my old school like kind of rave music. Cause I'm a bit of a raver as well, you know. So. Uh, yeah. So check out Pete Bennett Music on SoundCloud, and you can hear some of that as well. Um, awesome. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've wanted, I always called myself the daddy um, mm-hmm. because when I was in Daddy Fantastic, Wobbly Bob said, "You're the daddy, Pete. Don't ever forget." So you know, I called myself <laughs> the daddy as a musical, um, musical thing. What's it called? Yeah, my yeah. techno music. So yeah, the daddy is still going, but he's making techno music now. Do you know? What I mean? have, you, have you performed live doing any uh, electronic tried, stuff? Uh, I've tried doing it, trying to play in live, but there's a lot of competition, you know. I've noticed there's a bit of competition. Yeah, there's a few DJs. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you try and play out, there's someone out there who's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll play you out, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can tell he's jealous because your tunes are fucking much better than his. <laughs> so, you know, I just kind of, yeah. uh, I've just given up on that. I think I'd rather do the frontman stuff. Frontman stuff, where it's at, you know, Daddy Fantastic was where I was really at, it, at my at my very kind of performing kind of, you know, yeah, peak. And I want to get back out there after yeah. lockdown. Get back to being the daddy again on stage singing with the love dogs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. You've got all the charisma of a front man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, poor old Keith Flint. I need, I need to, like, I need to, you know, I need to keep his energy going, you know? Because yeah. I, I think I really miss the geezer. And, uh, yeah, I think we need to keep up the spirit of Keith Flint, man, you know. I get a lot of people going... Yeah, you remind me of Keith, and I'm like, oh, geez, thanks, thanks very much, you know. So I think uh, I, want, I want to give people that buzz again. You know, and I'm not saying I am Keith, but you know, I got his kind of spirit, you know, in me as yeah, well. Definitely. I think a lot of people yeah. out there who, who really resonate with Keith Flint, and I do as well. I think he's uh, he's a real he's a really missed geezer, and I'd like to I'd like to keep his spirit alive, you know, as well. In yeah. a way, so I definitely want to get out there and do some punk man on stage again. Yeah, man. <laughs> here we go, coming in. Don't fuck me out. Look Come lively. <laughs> so what what are some of your this is like such a, a basic bitch question, but like, what's some of your influences? Like, what what has inspired your your music? Um, well, you know, Billy Idol. I was I loved Billy Idol at a young age. Um, he was my he was my hero. Yeah, Billy <laughs> Idol. Um, you know, basically, I met him. He said he said he was like, you know, uh, my little yeah. I looked up to him like uh, like he was the most amazing thing. When I was five years old, I danced around and I'm like, yeah, come on in. Then, and then start, <laughs> and, you know, um, I ended up, yeah, wanting to be like Billy Idol when I was younger. Um, yeah, so I can say it was Billy Idol. And then obviously the Prodigy came in into the, to the mix as well. 
So I'd say Billy Idol and the Prodigy uh, and Jim Carrey, to be honest. Jim Carrey, massive inspiration to me. Yeah. Uh, so um, they're, they're the three guys, I think, you know. Yeah, Jim Carrey for the acting and, the you know, accepting my Tourette's and that. But um, I'd say Billy Idol was the man who wanted me to do frontman stuff and Keith yeah. Linton. So, yeah. You said J Jim Carrey made yeah. you yeah. Got, helped you accept your Tourette's. Like, yeah, because he's the, only geezer, he's the only geezer I've seen. When I was young, I had no one to look up to. So, mm -hmm. you know, I had him. As a as a kind of guide, I mean, he was making millions of pounds, making stupid faces and running around being a twat. So I was like, "Hey, man, I can do this too," yeah. <laughs> you know, because I, I was I was very uh, <clears throat> I was a nervous kid, you know. I had worst Tourette's ever, and uh, I, I did need him as a kind of a I had him as a hero to me. I was like, yeah. "Wow, this guy is amazing." He helped me accept my Tourette's because you know I looked up to him as if someone out there can make. Um, as much silly faces and grimaces and you know as me and, and make millions of pounds from it then what am i worried about you know I, yeah. I was before him i didn't really know what to do i was i didn't think, really think i had much of a future ahead of me you know and i saw him and i was like come on in this this uh yeah so i, I wanted yeah. to be um, an actor too you know and i wanted to and that helped me get onto the big brother as well when i accepted myself basically he freed me from concern and that's his job and that's now I want to free people from concern too, you know, make, you know, show yeah. that, you know, you can just be yourself no matter what you got, uh, accept yourself. Also, you know, just, and he always said, he always, he taught, he's taught me that the best currency in life is how you make other people feel as well. So, um, you know, fuck money. I'm all about like love and fucking spreading good vibes, uh, Tourette's awareness and, you know, helping, being kind, you know, fucking, yeah, I, yeah, I love, yeah. Um, so yeah. It's funny because you, you, I, I you yeah, you you were the first person that I think that I can remember seeing that had Tourette's. That w it wasn't just shown as like a kind of um, like a caricature. Like there was a whole spectrum of your personality. Obviously, because that's the nature of Big Brother. Like you're there for such a long period of time that you're getting to see someone like evolve through that whole process. But also just what they're like in individual situations. So I think like before that, like, I I must have been. I would have been about 16 or 17 when Series 7 was out. So, like, anything I'd seen about Tourette's before that was just sort of like, um, what's the word? Like, not glorifying, yeah. but like looking looking at Tourette's as the, the, the swearing aspect of it and it just being this kind of funny thing. Do you know, do you know what I mean? And you were the first kind of person that I'd seen that it was actually like, when, you were able to explore the whole spectrum of it. Well, yeah, I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of, I had a lot of different twitches at the moment. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> uh, I've got to warn you though. When I talk about Tourette's, it will come out. It will burst uh -huh. out of me because um, it's like, hey, look, I you may remember. So I just had a, yeah. But I'm not very twitchy today. But as soon as you start talking about it it's like but the wing comes out again uh but yeah I'm, I'm actually not so bad today it's a stressful way of doing it. it's not stressful pretty pretty chill today so. but yeah um i think you know tourette's is a funny illness let's be honest i think <laughs> um i've used it as a more of a, a character building thing i mean instead of like hiding it i you know i, I let it be part of my personality and um, you know yeah I, I, yeah and i think um having humor about it and uh you know, laughing at yourself, and yeah, I think it's helped me accept myself. And you know, I used it as a, as a bit more of a yeah, it's part of me now, and I'm really happy. I'm happy I've got it, and you know, I'm proud of myself for having it. And everyone else should, have, should be should just 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 uh, you know learn to love love the skin they're in, and obviously just <coughs> wank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just wank um, yourself silly. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> yeah. I think like, everyone has Tourette's when they're doing that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> apparently it's not rare anymore I, um, apparently it's not rare anymore it used to be rare now it's not there's loads of people with threats uh it's all mm -hmm. over the shop now so um yeah I, why I do you think that is because of stress because of this yeah. fucking country uh, yeah. Uh, yeah because yeah. of the stress this country puts everyone under i reckon everyone's got getting threats <laughs> uh and i'm I, honestly I, <laughs> yeah i think that's it <laughs> I do. I think honestly, well, would... it's never this tr this country is fucking stressful now, man. <laughs> yeah, anyway. oh, definitely, yeah. man. Only in it though, man. It's just hardcore, man. Especially like throughout the pandemic, like I, I just kind of feel 
I don't know if you've kept up with like what other countries are doing. Yeah. In terms of like, like in America, there seems to be like it's just more of an experiment where each state sort of like trying out different things rather than just consistent lockdowns and yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah. It, I just feel like here it's just been this long thing that's never ending. I know. Uh, it's just uh, yeah, it's uh, it, 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 it hopefully it will end soon, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust the government. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't. I don't. But there they go. That's me. You know what I mean? I mean they should just uh, start teaching people about immune immune boosting foods. Maybe why don't they go? Why why isn't that out there? Why isn't Boris yeah. Johnson telling everyone about immune boosting foods? What about like nutrition? Hmm? What about that? Yeah. Well, where's the nutrition guide? Why why isn't everyone getting told about you know what what they can eat to to boost their immune system? Nothing. You yeah. know, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy, man. It, 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 instead, we're just going to get some shit in our arm. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm, I'm, I am a little bit scared. Not being, not being honest, but you know, it's just, it's a bit scary for me. I mean, I know people who've had the jab and I got pretty ill and that, you know, uh, but you know, that's the way. As I'm a little bit scared, I'm not going to be, you know, it is, I'm going to wait for, I'm going to wait a long, I'm going to wait a bit until I get it. You know what I mean? Because I, I, yeah. I want to see my mum. I really miss my mum. I really miss my mum. She's in the Caribbean, you know, and I haven't seen her for a year, uh, maybe a year and a half now. And, you know, she's yeah. getting on and, I'm, and I, I'm shitting myself. I really am. I really am shitting myself. I want to see yeah. my mum. And uh, the only way I can is if I get a jab, I think, probably. So, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, 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 I'll risk my life to, to get it. You know, yeah. So I don't see my mum. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know. But I, know I think I I most people I I feel the same way, I think. I know I didn't get... I didn't get COVID when I was with my, my missus, mm -hmm. you know, um, she, you know, had the, she got the positive, but I was with her, I looked after her, you know, and hey, I didn't get Do it. Do you think you I, could I, have already had it? Like maybe you've got like the antibodies or something? But to be honest, mate, I'm not a person who really gets flus and colds anyway. I'm yeah. actually, I think because, you know, I'm from Peckham, I played in the mud, I played with, I yeah. played <laughs> with dirt. I, I was, you know, I, I brought up on a council flat, I reckon I, I probably uh, got my immune system uh, um, pretty good, actually, because, yeah, yeah, I think it is good. But, you know, yeah. I'm, so I'm, what, so I'm what kind of diet do you have? I eat, all, I'm, I, I eat vegetables. Uh, most of the time it's vegetables and uh, anything vegetarian. With um, Sometimes I have, like, uh, fish as well, and that's it. Um, okay. Pescatarian, I think, that's my, that's my thing. Stay yeah. away from all processed shit. McDonald's, don't go near it. You know, I, I make, make sure that my diet is really on point you know because it's really helpful and salad loads of salads yeah yeah don't Do you eat take crap. vitamins don't eat crap mm -hmm. do you take any vitamins um no because all the vitamins i take are in the foods i eat yeah i yeah. don't need, need any supplements yeah i'm all right yeah and i get a lot of, i get a lot of sun and i walk the dog you know <laughs> i just kind of yeah keep myself all the necessities yeah i'm all right yeah. you know um, yeah yeah, it's good stuff. I feel, I feel, I've, I've never felt better. <laughs> awesome. Man. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm vegetarian as well, but like mm. I take, I take this multivitamin thing. Mm. Just especially of like in the past year, just been extra paranoid about my immune system. There's oh, just certain right. things it's, like because I don't do eat the Wim fish. Hof. Like, do the Wim Hof, mate. You have got to do breathing exercises. Breathe in all the oxygen you can, man. Yeah. And then it will boost your immune system up. Come on, let's do Wim Hof. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally can walk up a mountain in his pants. You know what I mean? He was injected with viruses, and he doesn't. It, but all because of his breathing and his oxygen thing, man. You know, yeah. I'm really into that. I'm like, oh, come on, then. let's let's breathe in some. Let's, and you do, you get high off the oxygen, you know. And apparently, it helps because it kind of makes your adrenaline go mad when your, yeah. when your adrenaline goes up. It actually boosts your immune system. So, um, yeah, Boris Johnson should go on to say, hey. Let's all do the Wim Hof method. Let's all eat um, 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 nutrition. Nutrition, yes, sir. Good, good nutrition. Uh, and Wim Hof. Uh, and it's, you know, I think that'd be much. That'd be nice. I think uh, if he went went on the hippie. If he was a bit more of a hippie, I'd, 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 I'd think I'd like him a bit more. You know. And I because the only my missus, I'm, my missus is a fucking mental health nurse, and she, 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 you know she's going through shit at the moment, and she's really you know it's been really hard. And he gave an NHS one percent. One percent, yeah. One percent pay rise while he's giving himself twenty grand uh, a year pay rise. I mean, it's sad. It's, it's you know, free. So I fuck him. Uh, yeah. 
no, exactly. I'm not, not, not happy with this 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 man. Not happy. Not happy at all with this. With this yeah. What kind of is there a and government that, in the world that, that would me. that would mm. prescribe like like a bucket of ice? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, everyone sit in a bucket of ice. And yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then, like, I just can't ever imagine what? like <laughs> got any government kind of caring about that kind of stuff, which is wild because. No, it, it will, hopefully one day the things will change and we'll get we'll yeah. get a government that are a bit more like you know, not so greedy, um, and a bit more a bit. I mean, maybe I should do it. Hey, Pete for president, yeah. Pete for <laughs> prime minister, come on in. Uh, but you know, some I would like someone out there is a bit more you you, you know, eco friendly, you know, some yeah. somewhat a bit more like really yeah, just not all not, not all about greed and you know about you know love baby <laughs> hey there you go and and someone who probably wears drag that would be nice yeah <laughs> a prime minister who wears a fucking pair of knickers that's what i want i can see that happening man yeah i mean i, I think it's probably maybe boris johnson already does wear knickers. Yeah. <laughs> probably his wife yeah from the waist, does waist that, down probably wear <laughs> yeah man imagine that fucking i wouldn't want to see that i didn't see that oh <laughs> right god i feel sick <laughs> and they actually yeah, changed my opinion of him. what's that <laughs> It may change my opinion of him. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll give, I'll give him. I might vote for him if he wears a pair of knickers. Mm -hmm. uh, the next time he's talking <laughs> shit about whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. What um? So in terms of like <laughs> Big Brother, I know you probably get like questions about Big Brother all the time, man. Um, but like, what? Pass. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Pass, no way. Um, <laughs> Next. Next. Like, how do you how do you feel like having been a part of like that whole fucking thing? Because like, I was thinking about it. I didn't realize that it was only series seven. Like, uh, so you were you were like a part of this massive like cultural wave at that point in reality TV, yeah. man. It's nuts. Like, how how do you feel like looking back on that? Um. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it was nice being part of the wave. It's nice I was surfing that massive wave, and it kind of feels cool that I was in number seven because it became the most popular. And you know, us, yeah. us, us, Big Brother Seven lot, we're still kind of out there a little bit. You know, we're sort of still a bit out there in the papers, isn't it? We still kind of have a little bit of we get we keep getting brought up every time, like you know, like we're always getting little interviews together, podcasts together. You know, Ryland from Big Brother, who's the, uh, you know, he's kind of um, the interviewer. Like, he yeah. keeps on ringing us up, getting us to do interviews. And uh, it's weird how, like, the Big Brother, Se Big Brother 7 lot have kind of still lingered there in people's memories, you know, and me especially. And, and the little way people who remember me still say, hey, Pete, you're right, you know, but, yeah, it's nice to be remembered for, for something like that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Uh, people I don't expect come up to me and they're like, I think they're going to mug me, but they actually give me a high five, you know. I'm like, whoa, I didn't expect that geezer to actually say, hey, Pete, you were wicked, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, I have respect, dude. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but the gnarliest geezer comes up and just gives me a high five. And I'm like, wow, I touched a lot of people, man. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I love I, that I, you've I, went I, away and, and done a, a lot of creative stuff as well. Like a lot of people, I think, just expect that there's going to be like a sort of thing handed to them when they come away from it. No, nothing's handed to you actually. I mean, you know, you got you really have to like pull, pull, you know, pull yourself together after Big Brother because it can put you in a place where you don't get mm, work. I don't really get normal mm -hmm. work, um, you know. So I've got I had to really like get myself into some career. So I've got myself into acting and that, you know, and uh, uh, to get to keep, give myself something, you know, something to 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 do because you know yeah. getting a normal job is a no. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I've had to like yeah try my best to get to get myself something so you know yeah. I, do, I do bits and bobs i do a little bit of like video for hello i do little hi it's pete here happy birthday <laughs> you know uh just start awesome. memo and cameo and all that shit and hide yeah, yeah uh just to keep the money coming in a bit uh, you know a few a few little uh uh films here and there Catherine tate oh man can't believe it i work with Catherine tate and i've got i've got my uh, cool, I've, got, I've got tourette's in that as well in Catherine tate yeah when that comes out I've got Tourette's in there and we're having a swear off. Um, but you know, like just do this <laughs> acting thing. I want by the time I'm 40 to be up there, like in making good hard cash, being a, 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 a you know, one of the a, a, maybe a comedy actor, I think, or just, just yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm good at comedy. I am good at comedy. So 
Definitely, yeah. I mean, I mean, but if it weren't for me getting into acting, I don't know what I would have done. You know, I mean, like that. So I'm really glad I got myself a little career. But I didn't. I didn't. I did it all myself. You know, I just went out there and auditioned, 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 and now you know I'm I'm, I'm always getting asked to be in films all the time. Now. I check check my IMDb out. There's loads of lists of films I've been. You know what I mean? I'm go- I will go through it, man. I'm going to I'm going to watch Good. some oh, of them. I'm going to finish Green Fingers, yeah, look, and then I'll make a start on the horror I'm, stuff. Yeah, have a look at Green Fingers, and when you get to past number four, I'll send you number five, and you can check out cool. Ross Lee's episode because that's really That'd good. And it also includes the man in drag. You know, just a continuous okay. theme in my life. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. That's that's yeah. very important. Um, oh, thanks oh, for doing this, man. Um, oh no, worries. Thanks for having this me. This has been fucking uh, awesome. Does it? Does it? Um, does it? Does it come up as wank face on there? It will come up as wank face, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let people know that, that you you put that in and not me, just in case. <laughs> That's not, no, he's lying. He's lying, guys. You, put that. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what, what I can't. <laughs> right, um, so. I usually do this podcast in person, like like before the pandemic, I, I yep. do it in person, but obviously I'm oh. having to do it um, over video. But um, oh, well, let's do another one then when, when we're out of here. And, yeah. Yeah, but safe. Awesome. Cool. Catch up. In fact, catch up when, when you're in Scotland next time, we'll we'll meet up and we'll do an in person. Like when I'm doing my next film in Scotland, I'll let you know, and we you can come and like yeah, and come meet up. I'll make sure you don't actually know it's me because I wear drag. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably fancy if you wear drag, mate. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Man. Cool. Uh, right, yeah. Nice do you want to let people know where they can uh, hear and? Watch your stuff and all your social yeah. media tags well, and stuff. Just, just um, go to um, obviously Amazon, type in Pete Bennett, and you'll get a few things up. There's a few films there, a couple of horror films, but not all this, all of them. But um, yeah, Amazon Green Fingers, like Pete Bennett Music on SoundCloud, or like um, yeah, go to just to go there, just go there, and you'll hear those tunes. You can buy them if you go to the Bandcamp link, which is on there as well. So go go to Pete Bennett Music set on SoundCloud. Click the band camp camp link if you want to download any. No, but yeah, um, and uh, Pil- the Pilcher Factory on SoundCloud for the podcast. Also, yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Check out my Instagram if you want. You don't have to. I mean, yeah. it's a bit crap, isn't it? I, mean, I don't know. Just whatever. no, it's just, good, just, man. Um, it's good. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll be all right. Um, yeah, I'm just um. Yeah. I'm look at, I don't know, just look at me. Look at me, I'm amazing. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look at my face. Mm. Mm. <laughs> God. Well, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be go live. Be go live is something I do now as well. That's a little app that, ambassador. Right? You go on Be Go Live and you talk to fans like, hello, look at me, I'm I'm Pete. And they give you beans. Um, and I'm an ambassador on there. So if you go to Be Go Live, search for Pete Be Bennett, cool. you can actually have one on one chats with me on there. And I'm I'm up for talking to everyone, and yeah, it's good fun. So yeah, be go live, awesome, and you have one to one chats with me if you want. <laughs> uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks, Thanks very much, man. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Thank you.